Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is show you all my part three of the series that I've been doing, which is how to create financial projections using Excel. And so for this part, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all how to do charts and graphs for financial statements. And so if you all did not get an opportunity to see the part one, which um, for part one, what we did was we built a financial model starting with daily sales, daily labor, jumped into monthly projections, and then we wrapped it up with a 12 month of um, profit and loss statement. So if you all need some assistance in walking through step-by-step -step how to complete that section, go to my part one, which is at this link right here. And for the part two, what we did is we built this a pro forma income statement financial model based on all this information up here. And if you all missed that step, then go ahead and visit, um, and visit this link right here, which is the YouTube video showing you all how to complete the second step. And finally, um, if you all want to go ahead and just purchase this whole template graphs included, and you don't want to go through the rigmarole of putting it together yourself, then just visit my website right here, qualitybusinessplan.com, financial projection template, and you all can just go ahead and download and purchase um, the completed template um, at that website. All right, so with all the um, infomercial, infomercial stuff taken care of, let's get down and dirty, and let's go ahead and start building some um, charts and graphs for your financial statement. So what I like to do in my business plans is I like to do a um, graph right here for the monthly uh, for the monthly information. And so the way that I do that, I like to do a pie graph. So the way that I do it is I'm going to highlight um, A15 all the way down to B24, which is these sections right here. The next thing I'm going to do is go up to Insert, and then I'm going to go to Recommended Graphs. So for some reason, the recommended graphs works fantastic to get the information in the proper format instead of trying to go into these sections right here and trying to select a graph. Sometimes it gets the um, X and Y axis is screwed up. Um, but if you go to the recommended graph, almost always it's going to give you um, the X and Y axis is where it needs to be. So this is a pretty ugly graph, uh, to say the least, the very, very least. However, it's a great solid foundation um, where, from which we can build upon. So before we do anything else and changing the graph around, let's go ahead and change the title real quick. And so for the title, we want to call this as going to be um, monthly information or monthly cost or fixed cost, even better. All right, so we got that, and then we'll get rid of this side chart right here. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, bring this back into focus, so we'll click on the chart, and we're gonna go up to Chart Design, and then we're going to go to where it says Change Chart Type, and we're gonna go to a pie graph, and we're not gonna go to any old pie graph, we're gonna go to the 3D, so we're, we're going 3D here. So we're gonna click on the 3D pie chart, Looking a little bit better. Move it over here, give us a little bit more room. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go through these selections right here. We're going to hit this little drop down area still in the chart design section. And we want to get a little bit more information. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here. We're going to go to this one because um, this is going to give us our percentages right here. And it's going to give us our, um, you know, our breakdown, our, our little key. So we'll click on that. Now we're starting to get even better here. The only problem with this is that we can't read any of these darn numbers right here. So it looks great, 3D. We got the colors looking not too bad. Maybe if we want to change the colors, then we'll go up here to the change color, and then we can select you know some of these different colors. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, nah, I don't like that either. Uh, let's go. We'll go with that. We'll keep with um, the original colors. So the only thing left to do with this chart right here is kind of to move these numbers around so we can actually read them. And the way that I do that is I'm going to take the title. I'm going to drop my title. I'm going to bring my title right up here to the top corner. Gives me a little bit more room right here. And then we can resize this graph, go to the bottom left-hand corner, pull it out a little bit, give us a little bit more room. Um, but the biggest thing right here is we, we want to be able to read these numbers. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to bring our cursor and we're going to highlight all of those. And then we're just going to take this first one right here, and we're going to um, highlight it to where it's, you see the four arrows right there. Once we get the four arrows, we're going to click on it and drag it, and we're going to take it outside of our, um, box, our outside of our pie chart. 
And then we're going to do the same thing for the next one. We're going to click it where it's got the, the six little, three, up, three boxes upstairs, three boxes downstairs. And then we're going to be looking for the four arrows. Move our mouse around till we get the four arrows. Same thing, we're going to drag it, drag it over and move it over. Same thing with this. Drag it over, move it over, and see, we just messed it up. If we just me if we mess it up, which actually kind of looks kind of neat, um, you know, if you like it, keep it. If, if you don't like it, go back and try again. And again, we want to make sure we get that number two. We don't want all of them. Hit that. So we pulled out a one, but now we got the two right there. And then we keep going here. And even if you mess up the order a little bit, um, there's going to be little lines drag, um, kind of showing where this means. And see how it's crossing right here? It means that we kind of got our, um, our charts crossed. So we'll just fix that and move these around a little bit more. It's kind of a pain in the assets. Um, however, the end product is worth the aggravation. Pull it over here. And this one right here, pull it over here, for this one right here, pull it over here. And so now we've got all those outside of our um, graph. And so it's got the little lines here, but it's it's nice, it's clean. And the biggest thing is it's you can read it and you can understand it. And then you've got your little chart right here, which is going to tell us you know, what each one of the colors means. So we're good to go with our monthly fixed cost chart. And if we need to, just you know, in order to bring it to a Word document, click, right click and just hit copy. And you just copy and paste it right into a Word document. And the next step, and always, once you, when, anytime you include your monthly fixed cost into your business plan, Copy the um, chart as well. Just highlight the chart, copy this information right here so the reader can see your monthly figures in, in the dollars and it can also understand it in the percentages. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work our pro forma income statement. And the way that we're going to do our graph for the pro forma in, in income statement is we are going to highlight the first, the calm headers and also the revenue. Then we're going to hit the com command button or the command button and we're going to highlight the profit and loss statement. Once we highlight this information up here and this information right here, we are then going to go and we're going to play the same game again. We're going to go to insert. And then what we're going to go is we're going to go to recommended graphs. And then the graph that I like to use um, when I'm showing my revenues and profit and loss is going to be this one right here. And so now what we have here, actually, we got the um, growth in here. All right, so we don't want the growth in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this column right here, the C column where it says growth. We're going to right click it. So in order to get this um, call, the C column highlighted, we're going to left click on the C, the actual C, the letter C right here. We're going to right click then. We're going to go down to hide. And now it's gone. A bam. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight revenues upstairs and also the years. Hit your command button if you have a Mac. And then you're going to go ahead and highlight the profit and loss section right here. Once that is done, you're going to go to insert. And then we're going to go to recommended charts. Hit our drop down arrow. All right, so this is looking a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on this chart right here. And then we're going to go up here where it says where you see those four arrows and we're going to drag it down. Next thing we're going to do, change this title out. And we're going to call the pro forma income statement. Pro forma income statement. And I like to do five years. All right, so, so we're set with that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this graph pretty. So again, under chart design, you're going to click this down arrow. And then you're going to select one of these charts that makes um, this pretty for you. So we're going to go with this chart right here. Once we're done with that, then we are going to go and we're going to change the colors around a little bit. And we're going to go with um, we're going to go with these colors right here. So it gives us a nice little color break. The biggest thing we don't want to do is we don't want to have the numbers right here you know, highlighting each one of these um, graph bars. Cause it, it's going to kind of look a little bit messy um, where the reader can just identify. You've got your dollar amounts. And then you can see where the revenues are, and then you can see the profit and loss um, right here. 
So you kind of know what your net income is going to be as well. And um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, you've got your chart right here, your pro, um, pro forma income statement for five years. Um, we've got this information right here from the, uh, the previous um, video. And then we're able to see how a pie chart is going to look um, with a monthly fixed cost. And as always, when you do your pro forma income statement, include your graph right below it. That way it can kind of, they can see where the numbers are coming from, and then the visually they can understand um, the information as well. So hopefully this information was helpful for you all. And if you all ever need some help um, creating a professional um, financial business model, um, just give me a shout at the number below. If you all want a completed version of this um, basic financial model, then you can go to my website right here and for the, the model that I've got uploaded that you can purchase. If you fill in this information here, the charts are going to be um, made for you and your information will come in here. Let's say if we change this number here, internet to a thousand, then it's going to show and the graphs are automatically going to be updated for you as well. So um, it's a pretty good template for you all to use if you're just looking for a basic model. And if y'all are starting a business, I've got a business plan book out on Amazon. You can purchase it, How to Write a Business Plan in 10 Steps. And if y'all are looking to raise some funds for your small business, I've got a book on Amazon for that as well. And finally, if you're just looking to start a business, I've got a book for that as well. So hopefully this information was um, helpful and y'all got um, something out of my um, three-part series for how to create financial projections using Excel. And if y'all need a professional financial model done, my, again, my number is here, and I would be absolutely delighted to help. And finally, if y'all need a business plan written, that's, that's my um, gig, that's what I do best. Um, again, just give me a call, love to help. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and have a fantastic rest of the day.